Hello, I'm Franklin McMahon. Welcome back to the show. Thanks for joining us. This show is dedicated to really ramping up your creative career. We want to give you some tips and techniques and, and start some discussions about how do you get your career up to where you want it to be. And as always, check out the website, franklinmcmahon.com. we got all kinds of stuff on there. We have articles, videos. You can't even imagine all the stuff. So go to it. It's listed down there. So. Anyway, we're going to talk today about getting inspired daily and weekly. This is something I think is crucially important, and it's kind of like going at, going to the gym. You know, if you work out daily or weekly, you know, three times a week, four times a week, some people work out every single day. If you go to the gym, you're really working out your muscles. You're flexing, you're exercising, you're really, I feel like I'm exercising right now. You feel like you're really getting a good workout, and we want to do that mentally. We want to make sure that you mentally are inspired, you are getting a good mental workout. Now, this is completely different than your job. I know you're creative and you do stuff at your job and you work and stuff. This is getting inspired. This is getting you to think in new directions, really kind of expand your thinking. And um, it doesn't really matter who inspires you. You can kind of decide. I can give you some tips and some suggestions of people who I like. But uh, in fact, let me do that right now because I wrote a few down. And this is from actually a blog post that I wrote uh, not too long ago. And I wrote down Tony Robbins, Stephen Covey, uh, Timothy Ferris and uh, actually David Allen as well and um, Tony Robbins obviously a very key motivator and uh, I've listened to most all of his stuff and he does amazing stuff so that could be someone who gets you going he has a lot of books and tapes and CDs and stuff out tapes is people still listen to tapes I don't know and uh, Stephen Covey I think is uh, you know his stuff is more textbook example of some of the great habits that you can kind of get inspired by I think his one of his greatest books is The Eighth Habit, which is uh, to find your voice and then inspire others to find theirs, which I think is a great, you know, it's a great book. It's a pretty thick book. So The Eighth Habit is something you want to check out. Uh, the Seven Habits of Highly Successful People, another really great recommendation. You can't go too wrong with most of his stuff. Timothy Ferris did The Four Hour Work Week, which, uh, you know, if you want to work smarter, if you want to work a little bit less and get some more abundance, whether that be money or whatever you want, his book is excellent. He's got so many great tips, and a lot of it's more current stuff. I mean, he talks about virtual assistants and really, you know, not surfing the web all day and looking at info that will be dated in a week. Uh, he's got some amazing concepts, so he's really been a big inspiration for me. So, and he's got a blog and everything too. You can check out. So he might be another person. And finally, David Allen. And if you haven't heard of David Allen, he authored Getting Things Done. He's got a, a new book out, and he's, he's got several books out, actually. And that's about really taking all the stuff that you're working with, collecting it, processing it, reviewing it, and getting things done. Hence the name. So David Allen, thumbs up to David Allen. So those are four people. Again, these are just suggestions, but and you don't have to go through any of them, but you, you should, because I think all of them have some really good ideas, and they correspond a lot with what we're talking about here on the show every episode. So those are some suggestions. But the main big idea I want you to do is be inspired daily. Now this could be audiobooks, it could be a reading a book, it could be watching a program, it could be tapes. Does anyone have tape players anymore? Do you have a tape player still? It could be tapes. It could be anything actually. So um, make sure that you do that. Make sure you really set aside time and you will have to set aside time. Because a lot of the times you'll be working and you know you work eight ten hours and by the end of the day you'll be just be burnt you know this could be in the morning when you're having breakfast just pop it on for a half hour you know get that infusion of inspiration you know make sure you're around things that get you thinking in new directions that make sure that you are inspired and you know you start to think hey I could try that technique or I could try that tip you know watch the show of course but you know look at some experts who have done it and have really studied this craft of you know really you know, creating abundance and also, you know, ramping up careers and getting organized and, and all that stuff. And try to get it into your life on a daily basis. Weekly is good. A few times a week is good. If you can do it daily, that is quite a powerhouse. And you'll find that if you do it daily, it'll be like working out. Your mind will start to get more and more stronger, <laughs> strengthen it to really think in some new directions and learn some new techniques. So that is, well, not your homework, but that's what I would suggest to do. So try it this week. Try to look at maybe some of these authors and some other ones. There's tons of them out there. And start to get inspired daily and or weekly. My name is Franklin McMahon. Thanks for joining us. And as always, check out the website, franklinmcmahon.com. Stay tuned. We've got more great shows coming up. And uh, my name is Franklin McMahon. Once again, I think I said that a couple times. And we'll see you next time. Take it easy.